Hey, I heard that testing microservices architecture requires careful planning. What are the things to consider? Yes, indeed. There are several things to keep in mind when testing microservices with automation. One important consideration is ensuring test isolation and independence. What do you mean by test isolation and independence? Well, microservices are designed to be independent components, so when we automate tests, we need to ensure that each microservice can be tested in isolation without relying on other services. We can use mocking and stubbing external dependencies or containerization technologies like Docker to achieve this isolation. Got it. What about service communication and integration testing? Since microservices often interact with each other through APIs or message queues, it's crucial to automate integration testing. We need to test service interactions, data exchange, and communication protocols to validate that the services work seamlessly together. Tools like Postman, Rest Assured, or consumer-driven contract testing frameworks like Pact can aid in this aspect. Wow, that sounds complex. What about scalability and performance testing? Good question. Microservices need to handle variable workloads and scale dynamically, so we need to automate performance and scalability tests to evaluate how each microservice performs under different load conditions. Tools like JMeter, Gatling, or Locust.io can simulate user traffic and help identify potential bottlenecks or resource limitations in the system. Cool. What other things do we need to consider? Well, we need to incorporate automated tests into our CI slash CD pipeline, automate tests to simulate various failure scenarios, and establish a comprehensive testing strategy that covers functional, non-functional, and security aspects of the microservices architecture. Thanks for the info. Do you have any personal anecdotes to share about testing microservices? Yes, I remember one time when we tested a microservice that was supposed to handle millions of requests per day. We simulated a load of 10 million requests, and the system crashed within seconds. It turned out that the microservice wasn't properly optimized to handle that level of traffic, and we had to re-architect it to make it more scalable. Wow, that's crazy. What did you learn from that experience? We learned that scalability and performance testing is critical, and we should always test our microservices with realistic load scenarios to avoid surprises in production.